Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Keshiyina. A dish made from the remnants of edam or gouda cheese, filled with a flavorful mixture of meats, spices, and vegetables, and then baked. Keshiyina is a unique and delicious dish that is considered a culinary specialty of Curaçao. It's a dish that reflects the island's history and cultural influences, including Dutch and Caribbean elements. Keshiyina is essentially a stuffed cheese casserole that is both savory and satisfying. Here's how to make Keshiyina. Ingredients. For the filling. 1.5 to 2 pounds of leftover edam or gouda cheese, hollowed out, with some cheese reserved for grating. 1.5 pounds of diced or shredded chicken, cooked and seasoned. 1 onion, finely chopped. 2 to 3 cloves of garlic, minced. 1 bell pepper, finely chopped. 1 to 2 tomatoes, diced. 1 half cup of raisins. 1 half cup of sliced green olives. 1 quarter cup of capers. 1 quarter cup of tomato ketchup. 2 to 3 hard boiled eggs, sliced. Salt and pepper to taste. Cooking oil for sauteing. For the sauce. 2 to 3 tablespoons of tomato ketchup. 2 tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. 1 to 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. 1 to 2 tablespoons of hot sauce. Optional, for a spicy kick. A pinch of sugar. Instructions. Prepare the filling. In a skillet, heat some cooking oil over medium heat. Saute the chopped onion, minced garlic, and bell pepper until they become soft and translucent. Add the diced or shredded chicken and cook until it's heated through. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Stir in the diced tomatoes, raisins, sliced green olives, capers, and one quarter cup of tomato ketchup. Cook for a few more minutes until all the ingredients are well combined. Adjust the seasoning if needed. Prepare the cheese shell. Take the hollowed out cheese, the leftover edam or gouda, and line it with some aluminum foil or banana leaves to prevent leakage. Fill the cheese shell with the prepared chicken and vegetable mixture. Layer slices of hard boiled eggs on top. Prepare the sauce. In a separate bowl, mix together 2 to 3 tablespoons of tomato ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, and hot sauce, if using. Add a pinch of sugar to balance the flavors. Assemble and bake. Pour the sauce over the filled cheese shell, ensuring it's well coated. Grate the reserved cheese and sprinkle it over the top to create a cheesy crust. Bake. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Place the filled cheese casserole in the oven and bake for about 30 to 40 minutes, or until the cheese is bubbly and slightly browned. Bolo Pretu. A dense and rich black fruitcake made with dried fruits, nuts, and plenty of spices. Bolo Pretu, also known as, black cake, or, black fruit cake, is a traditional dessert that's often enjoyed during special occasions and holidays in Curaçao and throughout the Caribbean. This dense and rich cake is known for its dark color, which comes from the use of dark fruits and spices. Here's how to make Bolo Pretu. Ingredients. For the fruits. 2 cups mixed dried fruits, raisins, currants, prunes, dates, candied cherries, candied peel. 1 cup dark rum or port wine. For the cake. 1 cup butter. 1 cup brown sugar. 6 eggs. 1 cup molasses. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 2 cups all-purpose flour. 1 teaspoon baking powder. 1 half teaspoon baking soda. 1 teaspoon ground cinnamon. 1 half teaspoon ground nutmeg. 1 half teaspoon ground allspice. 1 quarter teaspoon ground cloves. A pinch of salt. 1 half cup slivered almonds or chopped walnuts, optional. Instructions. Prepare the fruits. Chop the dried fruits into small pieces and place them in a bowl. Pour the dark rum or port wine over the dried fruits and let them soak for at least a few hours or overnight. This will plump up the fruits and infuse them with flavor. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, 160 degrees Celsius. Grease and flour a 9-inch round cake pan. Cream the butter and sugar. In a large mixing bowl, cream together the butter and brown sugar until light and fluffy. Add the eggs and flavorings. Beat in the eggs one at a time, mixing well after each addition. Stir in the molasses and vanilla extract. Combine the dry ingredients. In a separate bowl, sift together the flour, baking powder, baking soda, spices, and a pinch of salt. Combine the batter. Gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, mixing until well combined. Fold in the soaked dried fruits and, if desired, the slivered almonds or chopped walnuts. Bake. 
Pour the batter into the prepared cake pan and smooth the top. Bake in the preheated oven for about 1.5 to 2 hours, or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. The exact baking time may vary, so keep an eye on it. Cool and store. Allow the bolo pretu to cool in the pan for a while before transferring it to a wire rack to cool completely. Ayaka. Similar to tamales, ayaka consists of masa, dough, filled with a mixture of meat, olives, capers, and raisins, wrapped in banana leaves and steamed. Ayaka is a traditional dish enjoyed in various Caribbean countries, including Trinidad and Tobago, Venezuela, and parts of the Caribbean coast of Colombia. It is especially popular during the Christmas season and other special occasions. Ayaka is similar to tamales but has its own unique flavors and preparation method. Here's how to make ayaka. Ingredients. For the dough. 3 cups of cornmeal. 1 cup of all-purpose flour. 1 cup of grated coconut, fresh or desiccated. 1 cup of vegetable oil or melted butter. 1 teaspoon of salt. 1 half teaspoon of ground black pepper. Water, as needed. For the filling. 1 to 2 pounds of boneless chicken or pork, diced. 1 onion, finely chopped. 2 cloves of garlic, minced. 1 bell pepper, finely chopped. 1 to 2 tomatoes, diced. 1 half cup of raisins. 1 half cup of sliced green olives. 1 half cup of capers. 1 quarter cup of tomato ketchup. 1 quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. 1 quarter cup of soy sauce. Salt and pepper to taste. Cooking oil for sauteing. Banana leaves or foil for wrapping. Banana leaves, washed and cut into squares, or aluminum foil if banana leaves are not available. Kitchen twine or strings for tying. Instructions. For the filling. In a skillet, heat some cooking oil over medium heat. Saute the chopped onion and minced garlic until they become soft and translucent. Add the diced chicken or pork and cook until it's browned and cooked through. Stir in the diced tomatoes, bell pepper, raisins, sliced green olives, capers, tomato ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and soy sauce. Cook for a few more minutes until all the ingredients are well combined. Season the filling with salt and pepper to taste. Remove it from the heat and let it cool. For the dough, in a large mixing bowl, combine the cornmeal, all-purpose flour, grated coconut, salt, and ground black pepper. Gradually add the vegetable oil or melted butter and mix to form a crumbly mixture. Slowly add water while mixing until the dough comes together and can be easily shaped into a ball. The dough should be moist but not too wet. Batty. A sweet and dense pancake made with cornmeal, often served with syrup or cheese. Batty. A sweet and dense batty is a traditional Caribbean dish that is particularly popular in Curaçao and other Dutch Caribbean islands. It is a type of pancake made with cornmeal, similar to polenta or cornbread. Batty can be served as a side dish or even as a sweet dessert when drizzled with syrup or honey. Here's how to make batty. Ingredients. 1 cup of cornmeal. 2 cups of water. 1 half teaspoon of salt. 1 to 2 tablespoons of sugar, optional, for sweet batty. Cooking oil or butter for frying. Instructions. Mix the cornmeal and water. In a bowl, combine the cornmeal and water. Stir until well mixed. You can also add sugar at this point if you want to make sweet batty. Cook the mixture. Pour the cornmeal and water mixture into a saucepan and place it over medium heat. Stir constantly as the mixture thickens. It should reach a consistency similar to polenta or thick oatmeal. This process can take about 10 to 15 minutes. Season with salt. Once the mixture has thickened, add the salt and stir well. Shape and fry. While the mixture is still hot, scoop out portions and shape them into round patties or cakes, about 2 to 3 inches in diameter. Heat some cooking oil or butter in a skillet over medium-high heat. Carefully place the shaped batty into the hot oil or butter. Fry until golden brown. Fry the batty on both sides until they are golden brown and have a crispy crust. This usually takes a few minutes on each side. Drain and serve. Remove the batty from the skillet and place them on paper towels to drain any excess oil or butter. Serve hot. Batty is best served hot. It can be enjoyed as a side dish with savory stews, soups, or seafood dishes. If you made sweet batty, you can serve it with syrup, honey, or jam as a dessert. Batty is a versatile dish that can be adapted to your taste by adjusting the level of sweetness and serving it with various accompaniments. Whether you prefer it as a savory side or a sweet treat, Batty is a beloved part of Caribbean cuisine. Pancake made with cornmeal, often served with syrup or cheese. 
Boca Max. A seafood dish featuring fish or shrimp cooked in a spicy tomato-based sauce. Boca Max. It sounds like a delicious seafood dish with a spicy tomato-based sauce, which is a common theme in Caribbean cuisine. Seafood is abundant in the Caribbean, and it's often prepared in a variety of flavorful and aromatic sauces. Here's a general idea of how you might prepare a Boca Max style seafood dish. Ingredients. Fresh fish fillets or shrimp. You can use your preferred seafood. Cooking oil. Chopped onions. Minced garlic. Chopped bell peppers. For added color and flavor. Chopped tomatoes or tomato sauce. Hot peppers or hot sauce. Adjust to your desired level of spiciness. Caribbean style spices and herbs. Such as thyme, paprika, and allspice. Salt and pepper to taste. Fresh lime or lemon juice. For a citrusy kick. Fresh cilantro or parsley for garnish. Instructions. Prepare the seafood. If using fish fillets, season them with salt, pepper, and a squeeze of lime or lemon juice. If using shrimp, peel and devein them, leaving the tails intact, and season them similarly. Saute the aromatics. Heat some cooking oil in a skillet over medium-high heat. Add chopped onions, minced garlic, and chopped bell peppers. Saute until they become fragrant and the onions are translucent. Add the tomatoes and spices. Add chopped tomatoes or tomato sauce to the skillet. You can use canned tomatoes or fresh tomatoes. If using fresh tomatoes, you can blanch and peel them before chopping. Season with Caribbean-style spices and herbs. Common choices include thyme, paprika, and allspice, which contribute to the dish's unique flavor. Add hot peppers or hot sauce to achieve the desired level of spiciness. Adjust to your taste. Cook the seafood. Carefully place the seasoned fish fillets or shrimp into the tomato-based sauce. Cover the skillet and let the seafood cook until it's fully cooked and flakes easily for fish or turns pink for shrimp. Cooking times will vary depending on the thickness of the seafood. Garnish and serve. Before serving, garnish the Boca Max with fresh cilantro or parsley. Serve the dish hot, either on its own or with a side of rice, plantains, or bread to soak up the flavorful sauce. Boca Max is a delightful and flavorful way to enjoy the abundant seafood found in the Caribbean. The spicy tomato-based sauce adds a kick of heat and a burst of vibrant flavors to the dish, making it a favorite among those who appreciate Caribbean cuisine.